Hello, and welcome to this Bloxel's EDU tutorial video about the Educator Hub. In this video, I'll show you how to use all the tools provided to you in the Hub. First, we're going to go to edu.bloxelsbuilder.com. The first thing you'll see is our homepage. We're going to go to the top right, click the character icon, and log in. This will bring you to a login page where you enter your email address and password to log into your account. When you're done with that, it'll pull up the resources page. Now the resources page is where we provide educators with a bunch of tools to help them get started. You'll see a link to our most recent webinar, classroom activities, tutorials, access to the shop to buy additional content, a link to register for the next webinar, and finally, an educator handbook digital download. From here, let's navigate to classes. You'll notice that I have two classes already created, but to show you how to create a class, we're gonna tap this button here. First thing you have to do is name your class. I'm gonna name this one the Justice League, just for fun. Tap create. And after the success notification goes down, you'll notice first that there's a class code. That's the code you'll give any students you add to this class so that they can log into it. Let's change it to something easier to remember. Batman is the leader of the Justice League, so let's use him. Once this success notification goes away, you're able to add students. So go ahead and tap add students and it'll bring you to this screen. From here, you can add students via a spreadsheet or you can add them individually. If you tap back to go back and start typing, you can add them by first name, space, last name. Once you've finished doing this, click the create new user and they pop into the gray box. You can add as many students as you want this way or you can add multiple students right away using the add multiple students button. Once you're done adding students, make sure you hit the add students button at the bottom. It will add each student individually, and then bring you back to the class screen where you can see all of them in that classroom. The three blue dots in the top right of each student tile allow you to edit student info like this. Reset the student's password if they've forgotten it. Of course, these students haven't created a password because I just created the student accounts themselves. or you can remove the student altogether. Next, I'm gonna show you the class library, asset packs, and arcade portions of the classes. But because this class has nothing in it, we're gonna go back to one of my previous classes that does have some stuff already created. In my mini Avengers class, I've already changed the class code and I've already added five students. Let's select Captain America. In here, we can see all of the tiles that this student has created. We can also scroll down and see all the story block text for any games that they've made, like The Martian Man, which is right here. We can see that this text is the only text in that game. We can delete it if we find it offensive, or we can download it as a PDF. Up at the top, you'll see a tab for badges. Badges are little accomplishments that you can give your students whenever they get something done. Say they remixed the game and they did a good job, you can give them the game remix badge. The messages tab allows you to see messages you have sent to the student. This allows you to communicate with the student and perhaps give them curriculum for the day or encourage them based on the things they've created that you've seen. You can always see a thread of all the messages you've sent your students here. Let's go ahead and head back and go into the class library. Now the class library is a shared library among all of the classmates in a single class. This way when they create something they can share it to this class library and share their work with their classmates. In this tab you can filter through games, characters, art, and backgrounds either individually or in groups. or you can search by all of the tiles that they've created. You can also select any tile, see who made it and when they made it, and you can decide if it can stay published 
or if it needs to be removed. This allows you to manage what is in your class library and what your students create. Next, we'll look at asset packs. Asset packs are created by us at Pixel Press to give your students pre-made art to make the creative process that much easier. You can tap on any asset pack to see what it includes before you add it to your class. So say you're working on something based in geology. You can look through it. And then add it to the class. Once it's added, your students will be able to use that art for their games whenever they'd like. You can check to see if something has been added by checking the green check mark in each corner. And you can always go back into an asset pack you've added and remove it from that class. Finally, let's check out the Arcade. This tab allows you to check and see what things have been added to the Bloxel's EDU Arcade. You can see who created it, how many people have played it, and you can see its status. Right now, this game has a red exclamation point in its status. If you were to tap on that, it will open up a window that lets you know it's awaiting approval by us at Bloxel's. From here, you can copy a URL so that you can share the game with other students or their parents. You can also check the story block text, and you can message the student from here or unpublish it from the arcade if you didn't want them to publish it in the first place. Because in the top right, you will notice you have control over whether or not your students can share to the arcade. You can flip that button on or off at any time. Now, if we go to the top right and click on your name, it'll bring up a small list of things you can open. Let's go to account. In account, you can see the name that you've added to your account, the username we've given you, and the email address on the account, and also the school information you entered when you created your account. You can tap on the password tab to change your password at any time. And if you tap on the plan tab, it allows you to see how many seats you've used of what you have allotted to you. It gives you the option to upgrade at any time and add more seats. Those upgrade options also show at the bottom, where you can add different packs to a cart. At the very bottom, if you have an activation code, you can enter it in here. This will take any of the seats from any code that you have and will apply it to the account that you're in. You can also add educators. Inviting an educator allows you to send an email to a peer with a number of seats from your reserve of seats. That way you can act as a distributor of your leftover seats. The store tab takes you to another page in your browser so that you can browse the store. Finally, if we head back and tap on your name again in the top right, you can go to support. Support allows you to reach out to us. By typing in a subject and message, it allows you to send us an email asking any question that you need and we'll get back to you with support as soon as we can. That's going to do it for this tutorial of the Educator Hub. Hopefully it gets you set up and ready to go using Bloxel's EDU in your classrooms and in your schools. Check out our YouTube channel for tutorial videos that you can show your students to help them get started as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun out there, and I'll see you next time.